What's up, Master One? Welcome back to another episode of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Last episode, we finished first level Arctic Antics, and the second level Tornado Alley. We've collected both crystals, both gems, and a special blue gem. In the first level, too. Well, that's pretty cool. Same as Crash 2. In this episode, we're we'll playing through the levels Bamboozled and level 4 Wizards and Lizards. So let's get it, let's get it going. You want a piece of me, Bandicoot? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Ha! Huh? Wuss! Calls us to us and then runs away, just like every bad spite player I've ever played with. So this level is another unique level uh, in terms of it's, an, it's a vehicular level, and in this level you'll, you're controlling a ball. Uh, you're in a ball, and there's ball physics. There's ball physics. Yep. Well, I goof that life up, but basically you're going to be controlling this thing, and to turn around uh, you have to wait for it to stop moving and. All that jazz, and there's this place where I let go of the. I'm not even controlling anymore, so you're actually going rolling downhill. It's pretty cool. Uh, try not to, if you go too fast, you'll just roll off, and well, it's really hard. Well, that's just basically what it is. You're just controlling a ball, a hamster ball, hamster ball. Is what it's, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, I forget the official name of this uh, ball in Crash games. I'll put it on screen right now. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of boxes this level, and seems pretty simple. Uh, there's a part up here, but you don't need it for the box gem. There's just extra lives up there, to my knowledge. Uh, we don't need extra lives. I'm pretty sure we have a decent amount. I don't expect to get a game over anytime soon. Uh, famous last words. But uh, yeah, come on, box. Thank you. Four, forty-four. This is a pretty sneaky area. If you go back here. You might think it's lives again because there's nitros, but it's a lot easier of a path because there's actually four boxes you need to collect for the gem. I've missed this a lot of times when I first played this game when I, around when I was young, but not no more. I always uh, check a lot of corners and areas now, so I never miss stuff like that. Again, famous last word. I, I usually don't miss stuff like that in games I've played, so. Oh yeah, I love this. Uh, there's actually a shortcut here I want to show you guys. Uh, I would just tell you because it's going to take a while to show you, but you can actually jump off that upper part and fall down in this lower part. It's a good uh, tactic to try and skip through the level, speedrunning and whatnot, and for the time trial later with the relics. If you don't have speed going up, like I said, it's actually, surprisingly, I don't, I think this is a pretty good physics engine for the ball. Much better than the rest of the Crash game. Really impressive. Well, job well done by, uh... Goddamn, Travel's Tales. Yeah. I also love these elevators here. You can actually fall off if the elevator is in there and you'll die instantly. There's no Aku Aku masks in these levels to my launch, so if you get hit by anything, you're, you're, you're kind of screwed. Uh, falling down any pit, you're kind of screwed. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the first ball level, it's pretty simple. We collected our gem. Over here is a path. Uh, you can probably see it from back there. It was next to Nitro's. You only take this path if you want it through the relic, as there is no boxes there. But we have collected our box gem, so let's leave this level. Alright, so we collected the crystal and the gem. There's not much left to do in this level. However, the next level, we have our second color gem out of five. That's right, wizards and lizards. Wizards and lizards, it's my favorite level in this warp room. And I'm a huge fan of these medieval levels inside a castle. They're actually really cool. So, the actual... Um, the gem is in a hidden root, uh, in a death root. But I'm not actually. I'm not so sure of my skills. These guys, if you touch that orb, uh, you instantly get damage, turn into a bat if you don't have. There's a death animation. I'd show you the death animation, but I want the death root, so. But yeah, you can tell by the way this angle is changing that something might be chasing us. But bonus round! We avoid danger for even a moment. Pretty cool bonus round. Music. I goofed up. Luckily I can spin that from here. I don't understand the spin hitbox in this game, but whatever. I'm okay with it. A lot of lives, actually. You know, I actually never tried this, but... In, uh, in Crash, in the original Crash games, if you spin, if you spin, like, just before hitting these boxes, you actually get to stand on these boxes. But that's not possible in this game, it seems. It's pretty cool. Don't spin these. 
so you, you can actually get that. I don't think you can get that any other way without any future power-ups. Uh, there are three more boxes that we didn't collect, but those are nitros. They'll automatically ignite, even though they're in the bonus round. They'll ignite from the nitro switch and give us the box. So don't worry about that. Alright then. So. Hmm. In the original Crash game, we were chased by a boulder. And the second one, we were chased by a boulder and a bear. And the third one, we were chased by a dinosaur. So what's cooler than all these uh, kind of realistic things? That's right. A dragon. The dragon will... Well, uh, wait, well, I like those little wings. I actually never noticed that. Uh, the dragon will break all boxes for you, so don't worry about uh, breaking boxes. Wait for that turn. You can't actually get damaged by his... Look at him. Just look at him. Look how goofy it looks. It's actually really funny. I love it. But, yeah, this is actually really cool. Like I said, uh, don't worry about boxes. He will collect all of them for you. Uh... As long as you don't get stuck behind any boxes or night ar armors or anything like that, you should be fine. I pressed the wrong button and didn't spin. Well, that sucks. Looks like we're coming back to the death room. But anyway, as I was explaining, uh, what was I explaining? Yeah, as long as you don't get stuck like what I did, did and actually spin those boxes, you should be perfectly fine. Just hold down, hold the down button. I always die in this part when I try it once, I don't understand why. Alright, I want this life. A lot of nitro, this uh, third part here is actually really tough. Uh, make sure you jump at the right time there, ignore this nitro. Jump at the right time again. Keep going. And there we go, once you get to this bridge, it's, it collapses when you walk on it. And you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. So, in order to uh, save everybody some video time, I'll be editing in the death route upon reaching it. I did not know that was a changing box. This is the death route. And let's jump on it. All right. It's death route. It's actually not that hard, really. Spin this guy, but watch out. He'll go off the nitros. Um... If you stand on these, they open up, like, almost instantly. Okay, I ran into him. The good old run into him and kill him. These things go up and down. Spin this guy. Spin. Slide down this guy. Avoid this knife. Jump up. Avoid this lizard. Hit him. Wait for this knife to go by. Go around. This thing, uh, you wanna... You wanna, like, stay down for the spiky ball and collect this. Now that we've collected the gem, let's keep going. And in case everybody's wondering, yes, I did repeat the level and entered it to take the death route in order to cut some video time. Uh, this part just spin this nitro, go back, don't even bother trying to survive those things. Go up, collect the other gem, and leave the level. Alright, and we collected the last green gem. And in the bottom right, you'll see footage of the of us collecting the crystalline gem. And now, uh, actually, that's it for this episode. So we've completed episode three. Episode three, yep. Level three bamboos, level four wizards and lizards. Next episode, we'll be going up in compactor reactor. We'll be collecting the regular gem and the crystal. And we'll fighting the boss, which is currently blacked out for some reason. But, um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Silence Master One. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.